Okay, so I'll just go through um, the second algebra test then. So factorize the following. So remember, this is simple factorizing. We take out the biggest number that goes into 25 and 30. So that's 5. We can't take out any letter. So we're left in the brackets with 5x, 5 5 gives us 25. And 5 6 is then give us 30. So 5 upon 5x five plus 6. Our next one, biggest number we can take out is 3. This time we can take a letter out. We can take B. So I'm left with 4 in here. 4 times 3B would give us back to 12. I'm going to have to multiply this by minus 5B to get minus 15B squared. Okay, our next one, biggest <coughs> number, excuse me, we can take out is 4. We can also take out a C. So I'm left with 4 here, 4 4 is 16, and C cubed. And a 5. Okay, so these um, last two parts are where people kind of went wrong a wee bit. Remember, you're looking for the biggest number that goes into 24 and 36. So some people were taking out 2 or 3 or 6 or something like that. 12 is the biggest number you can take out. And we can take out e to the power of 4. So if we multiply that by 2, we get to 24 e to the power of 4. 12 times 3 is 36, and we've got e to the power of 4 times e cubed will be e to the power of 7. And again, <clears throat> the most common mistake with e, people take, took um, 7 out, whereas you have to see that you could take 21 out. And we can take f to the power of 3, so I'm left with 2 plus 3 f to the power of 5. Okay, the next one then solves on the equations. First one, bring the minus 1 over and it becomes plus 1. So we get 2x is 16. So x is going to be 16 divided by 2. So x is 8. Over then to part B. 3x plus 2 equals 14. Bring the 2 over. So 3x is 14 minus 2, so 3x is 12, x then is 12 divided by 3, so x is 4. <clears throat> A few mistakes here in just the order people were doing things. The same way as in our last one, we, did, we took the plus 2 over first and then we worried about the thing with the x. It's the same thing down here. So we're taking the minus 1 over. And we'll get minus 4 plus 1. So minus 4, remember think of it in terms of temperature. So it's minus 4 degrees, it gets 1 degree warmer. So it's on minus 3. We're going to bring now this 4 across. So it's a divide by 4 here. So when we bring it across, it'll be a times by 4. So we have 3x then equals minus 12 x then is minus 12 divided by 3 so x is minus 4. Next one with the brackets <clears throat> so multiply out the brackets first and we get 12x minus 4 equals 6x minus 21. Some people forgot to get to multiply this part here and they ended up just still with minus 7. You have to multiply everything in the bracket by what's in front. So we're bringing the x's to this side, we're bringing the numbers to this side. Okay, so remember when we bring something across the equal sign, it changes. So the 12x is stem where it is, 6x is coming across, so it becomes minus 6x. And on the right hand side, minus 21 is stem where it is, and minus 4 is coming across to make it plus 4. So we have... 12x take away 6x, which is 6x. We're on minus 21, and we'll have to go up 4. So that's minus 17. So x is minus 17 divided by 6. So we would just write that as a fraction, as x equals minus 17 over 6. 
Okay, our next one. The fraction ones. So our common denominator is 12. So we're going to multiply the first one by 4. So 4 times 10x minus 3. And we're going to put, multiply the second one by 3. And keep the 5 over the other side. So multiplying out the brackets, we get 40x minus 12 plus 15x plus 6. All over 12 equals 5. <clears throat> and now we will... Um, simplify collector like terms here. Now, when we're collecting the like terms, we're not moving anything across the equal sign, so we shouldn't be changing the signs of anything. So we'll 40x plus 15x, so we'll get 55x. We're on minus 12 and we're adding 6, so that's minus 6. And that's over 12 equals 5. So now I'm going to bring this divide by 12 across and it becomes multiply by 12. So that gives us 60. I'm going to bring the 6 over and I get 55x equals 60 plus 6, so 55x equals 66, so that's 55x, so x then is 66 divided by 55, and that's 6 over 5 then. So next one's the inequalities. Write down the possible integer values. So there's no equals to on these um, inequality signs. So it can be minus 2, minus 1, not or 1. There's an equals on this inequality sign. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So our last page. 2x minus 7 is less than or e sorry, 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 7. Bring the minus 1 across and it's plus 1. We get then that x is less than or equal to 8 divided by 2. And remember, if you're solving an equation, you'll get an answer. If you're solving an inequality, your answer should be an inequality. Okay, there shouldn't be an equals here. Next one, I'm going to bring the x's over to this side and the numbers over to this side. So if 10x minus 5x is less than 14 plus 3. So I get 5x is less than 17. So x is less than 17 divided by 5. And I'm just going to write that as the fraction 17 over 5. And our last ones then, expand and simplify the following. So this is your FOIL. So first by first, x by x is x squared. Outside by outside, x by 5 is 5x. Inside by inside, 4 by x is 4x. Last by last, 4 by, four, four by 5 is 20. Simplify then, we can gather these terms. And we get x squared plus 9x plus 20. Next one, first by first is x by x, which is x squared. Outsides then, x times minus 6 is minus 6x. Insides, minus 2 by x is minus 2x. And then last, be careful with your signs, minus 2 times minus 6 gives you plus 12. Again, to tidy it up, we can tidy up the middle bit. So minus 6x minus another 2x gives us minus 8x. So we get x squared minus 8x plus 12. And our last one, first, so 3x by 2x gives us 6x squared. Outsides gives us minus 21x. Insides gives us plus 4x. And last, with a plus times a minus, so it's a minus. Two sevens are 14. And again, 
I can tidy up this bit in the middle. So we're on minus 21 and we add 4. So that's minus 17. So we'll get 6x squared minus 17x minus 14. 